Hello students, my name is Alpa Rupala, Assistant Professor from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology, Computer Department. Welcome to the lecture series of Mobile Computing and Wireless Communication. Unit number two, subtopic Spread Spectrum. Now topics to be covered in this lecture. In previous lecture, we have already learned about the spread spectrum, techniques of it, then frequency uh, hoping spread spectrum in detail. Now we are looking for the direct sequence spread spectrum in detail in this lecture. Then after we will understand the example on DSS. So basically, now we are moving forward to our next topic that is direct sequence spread spectrum. The transmitter side, your user data is first of all being converted according to the chipping sequence. Now look, we are not directly uh, first of all modulating our data into a signal. We are firstly using our binary data we are having the chipping sequence. The chipping sequence is a kind of chipping code which is being used for security purpose. We are exploring our original data with the chipping sequence code. Each and every user will be assigned a separate unique secret code and that code is chipping code. Okay, each and every user will assign a separate unique sequence code for spreading your signal. Your user binary data is being XORed with your chipping sequence. And then after that particular signal is being forwarded for the modulation purpose and you are sending the spreaded signal for transmission purpose. At receiver side, you are having the received signal. We are first of all demodulating it we have modulated at the last step. So at the first step, we are first of all demodulating it with the same carrier frequency as the transmitter. Now we are sending our signal to be XORed again with the same chipping sequence at the transmitter side. So at the receiver side, we require the same chipping sequence to be again XORed with your original data signal. So now we are having the bits, we are chipping that bits with the chipping sequence, same as your transmitter. Then after the amount of chipping sequence we have used, we need to combine that signal into the single bit. For that, we will transfer our signal into the integrator again. Now what is this? We will learn this in next example how this uh, particular corrector fundamental hold this product with the combination of chipping sequence XOR and integrator is defined as the corrector. How this corrector is being used we will understand this in the later example and then after we will give our data to receiver. So this is all about the DSS. The feature of DSS, it is very secure, it is very effective against narrow band signal and very effective against the interference application. We are using it also for jamming signals. Then after military communication, cordless phone, digital cellular telephony, satellite navigation, WLAN and Bluetooth. But the disadvantage, it is increasing your bandwidth. How? I will explain you in next topic or next example in which a single bit is being transmitted as per your chipping sequence number of bit. So the bandwidth requirement is being increased in DSS. Second one, the circuit is very much of complex. We require a broad PN sequence for higher security purpose. So it will again be increasing your bandwidth and it will be again be complex. And synchronization is very much of difficult at transmitter and receiver both. Now the example, in this example you will understand. Look, 
In CDMA network, suppose or assume there are two station, station A with the chipping sequence available. This chipping sequence is in a 8 bit and here it is B. It is also having one chipping sequence with the 8 bit. Okay. Now, Figure shows two cases of the both station transmitting at the same time show the transmitted signal S1 and S2 and how the DSSS does the recovery at the receiver side. So ultimately we are having two signal in which the signal 1 at the signal 1 S1 we are having two stations station A and station B. Station A is sending one bit and station B is sending 0 bit and at the signal 2 station A is sending 0 bit and station B is sending nothing. So this bit is what uh, binary bit, bit 0 or bit 1. Okay, so first of all to calculate this all fundamental we need to exhort this one bit with the available shipping sequence as D triple S is described. Also, we need to uh, this, uh, particularly also we need to combine this zero bit with this chipping sequence. Okay, so for this purpose, first of all, we need to convert this chipping sequence bits zero and uh, one bits into the vector representation. The vector representation is being carried out by 0 will be represented as minus 1 and 1 will be represented as plus 1. 0 will be represented as minus 1 and 1 will be represented as plus 1. So we are converting our chipping sequence into vector form. The chipping sequence of station A is triple zero double one zero double one now we are converting zero is being converted into minus one again zero minus one again zero minus one one then plus one one then plus one zero then minus one one then plus one and one then plus one same we are doing for the station b the chipping sequence for the station b is double zero one zero triple one zero so now for the transmitter, at the side of transmitter, we are creating our signal S1. The signal S1 will be given as the station A is sending bit 1. So the station A will directly send its bit by XORing the signal and the station B is sending 0. So we need to invert the bits. So the station A is at, as it is, station A is sending 1, so the data will be as it is in a vector form. But the station B is being inverted because we are, we are sending the bit 0 at station B. So the station B is being inverted. The place of minus 1, we will use plus 1. The place of one uh, plus 1, we will use minus 1. So this is what your a plus b bar value now we will add both uh, we will add both the station chipping code vector by vector okay so minus 1 plus 1 addition minus 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 0 and plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. So this is how we have created our signal as 1. As per the signal uh, definition station A is sending 1 and station B is sending 0. So now for signal S2 at signal S2 station A is sending bit 0. So the equation will be S2 is equals to A dash. So this is S2, S2 is A dash, so we are inverting our signal A, whereas minus 1 then plus 1, if it is plus 1 then minus 1, whole the sequence is being inverted. So this is your S2 signal. 
now you are seeing that for transmission of single bit we are sending 8 bits according to your chipping sequence number of bit for transmission of single bit we are sending 8 bit according to the signal of your uh, according to the chipping sequence number of chipping sequence of your signal so this was the transmitter side at receiver side at receiver side at this station A and for the signal S1. Now the formula is S1 into A. The formula is S1 into A. We are having the S1 signal as we have learned earlier and we will multiply that signal with station A. The station A vector value is given here and S1 value is given here. Now we will multiply 0 with minus 1, 0. 0 with minus 1, 0, minus 2 with minus 1, plus 2, plus 2, plus 1, plus 2, 0 with plus 1, 0, minus 2, minus 1, plus 2, multiplication, 0, plus 1, 0, plus 2, plus 1, plus 2. So ultimately we are having 4 bits, but as I have told you earlier, this bit are 8 bits. But actually we require only a single bit. We have XORed our signal again. Okay. But the actual requirement or actual or original signal our is the single bit signal. So we need to combine this whole signal. And that is what your integrator. We need to add this whole signal vector. So we are adding all the data into single one. And then after... This is your original value that is 8 and the number of bits in a chipping signal uh, sequence is 8. So we are dividing our original signal by 8. So here it is the addition of all that is 8 divided by total number of chipping sequence that is 8. So we are having the value plus 1 which represent bit 1. That was the exactly what we have sent at transmitter side. The bit 1 was sent. At receiver side, we are getting the same beat that is 1. Now again at station B for the signal S1. Formula is S1 into B. S1 we have already calculated. The S1 and S2 are the original signal which is being sent to your receiver. Okay. And these chipping sequence are also being sent to your receiver. And receiver is calculating this all fundamental at receiver side. So S1 into B, again we are having both, look, at the transmitter side for S1 signal, we have added the signal, likewise S1, sorry, A plus B dash, okay, but at receiver side, we will not use, we will ever never not use B dash or A dash fundamental, we will only use the original shipping sequence, okay. So here it is your original shipping sequence B without inverted. At receiver side we will never use the inverted signal. The S1 into B. Now again multiplication 0 into minus 1 0, 0 into minus 1 0, minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 2, 0 minus 2, 0 and minus 2. Now we need to integrate all the bits. We are adding all the bits and it will give us minus 8 and we are dividing it by the number of chipping sequence that is 8. So the division will give us minus 1 and minus 1 is representing bit 0. So the receiver can identify the signal bit is 0 which was set. So again at the receiver side for the station A and signal S2. Formula is same S2 into A. So now S2 signal is which is being sent to your receiver and A is the chipping sequence. We will use the original chipping sequence. So now again multiply all plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1. Okay. So now we are adding or integrating. The integration will give us minus 8 and number of chipping bits are 8. So minus 8 divided by 8 will give us minus 1. So 
same minus one represent bit zero. So your receiver can identify that the signal which was the bit which was sent was zero. So this is the practice example in which you are having four station rather two. You are having station A, B, C, D, and you are having four signal. For station for signal S one, only C is sending bit one. For uh, signal S two, B and C is sending bit one. For station uh, for signal S three. A sending one and B sending zero and for signal S four, A sending one, B sending one, C sending zero and D sending one. One hit the signal S one is C, the signal S two is B plus C, the signal S three is A plus B dash, the signal S four is A plus B plus C dash plus D. Okay, this example is being uh, was asked in GTU two to three times. Okay, this is very much important example. Have a practice of it. So the summary we have learned about the spread spectrum. Then after the spreading techniques, frequency hopping, D triple S, an example on D triple S. Thank you. We will meet in our next lecture.